I do see a general tendency for them to be oriented with the broadside facing upstream. Would you agree? I mean, like, look at these right here. So like these, the broadside faces where the current's coming from. There we go. And that's how I remember it. That's how I remember that they were like roof tiles. I mean, here they're kind of still that way, just stacked against each other. And of course, us and other, a million other people have walked over these. But this is fascinating. And then if you go 100 feet over there, they're all round. They're all back to normal stuff. This is really cool. So Art piled these up back in the day. We're running out of light, but let's see what some of these look like. Oh yeah. See, they still... You people who like to make cairns, I think that's what they're called, where you stack the rocks up like this, you can do a lot of cairning <laughs> right here. You have an unlimited stash of flat rocks of every different kind. I mean, like, look at this one. You would think normally a sandstone would break along the layers, but this one is, it's flat across the layers, which is kind of rare. And, of course, the rocks in Fort Collins art brought me a beautiful selection showing nearly every rock variety in flat form. I want to show you these uh, because the rocks where we are along the river are very dirty. So in the footage you'll see the shape of the rocks, but you really won't see much of the color. But you can see they represent literally every variety. Uh, my apologies, these are not Yellowstone River. These are slabs of flower stone from California. There we go, now, now we're looking at Yellowstone River flat rocks. I just can't stop marveling at how all these flat rocks are here. I mean, if we were at a river Oh, let's say in the Appalachian somewhere where all the rock is sandstone, of course all the rocks are going to be flat. But the Yellowstone is not known for flat rocks, nor are these varieties known to be flat. 